I'm willing to talk to anybody about this at any time. I don't have anything different to say to any of them because I only know what I know. And I'm willing to do it any time, not because I have any desire to be involved in any of it, but because what choice do we have? Yeah. <clears throat> My time in the military was a real privilege for me. And when I got done with it, uh, and, I, and I mean that, um, and I owe the people that I served with, especially ones who didn't make it, Because this, this isn't what they served and sacrificed for. Amen. Right. Amen. I do have a background. I'm not a cybersecurity guy. I'll tell you that over and over again. I'm not the guy who codes. I'm not the guy who does the detailed technical work. But I worked with them and I specified requirements for them. And I reviewed, approved, and wrote test plans and standards for their assessments of complex DOD weapon systems. And I'll tell you, the threat... The cyber threat against computer and electronic systems is far, far more serious, complex, and capable than the average person understands. And all you need to know to understand that is to look at what happened with, for example, solar winds, which we had in tens of thousands of applications throughout the federal government, including military, including national intelligence. And it was, it was compromised from the inside. And that happens over and over again. And the reason it happens over and over again is because the threat is much more capable and the target is so rich and lucrative for them. And this is why when I hear gold standard, it's fool's gold. It's fool's gold. Nobody who says gold standard either knows what they are talking about or can be trusted. And if they don't know what they're talking about and they're still saying it, then they cannot be trusted. There you go. I'm not saying they're corrupt. I'm saying that you wouldn't let a child behind the wheel of a school bus. Come on. You do not let people who don't understand the risks make decisions. Right. Anybody who would push for electronic voting for anything more important than a high school class president has no business leading right. from any office in the country. They cannot secure it. They don't know what they're talking about. And the more I have day, and I've been spending, before the 3rd of November, I had never, literally never looked at anything about a voting system or election system in my whole life. And I do a lot of reading. I've been trained to research. I've done it for the military. I was a RAND fellow. I know what I'm doing with research. When I start digging uh, into the election systems, I get more and more concerned. I find... Chinese nationals trained at their tier one cyber universities that are involved in electronic poll books. I find front companies. I find connections that are deeply disturbing. I will say Dominion. Dominion is not the problem. Dominion is one of many problems. You're not going to find a better electronic voting system. And it's not just the voting systems. It's, it's every one of the electronic voting systems. It's our electronic registration system. It's the electronic poll books. It's the risk-limiting audit that is a statistical approach they're trying to foist off as some kind of an adequate audit. It is not. Any electronic system can be corrupted. I don't care that it's open source. There's nobody looking at the open source code. There's nobody monitoring the people modifying it. If you can't see it, you shouldn't trust it especially in an election when so much is at stake. So, so I'm happy to say, you know, I, I don't take money for anything that I'm doing. I don't want money for anything I'm doing. I don't have any vested interest other than being an American citizen Come on. who committed his entire adult life to defense of the nation. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And, it, and I, it was a privilege. It was kind of a family business. You know, I always have the sense that I owed it. And now I just can't stand by and watch what's happening and not speak out about it. Amen. We need a real audit, a real audit of every single paper ballot, every single signed ballot envelope, every single computer system involved in the Colorado election. And until we get it, we won't really know what happened. When we get it, I guarantee they're going to show so many vulnerabilities. I mean... Freeman, Kraft, and McGregor did, a, did a, a small evaluation on Dominion voting, voting systems in California in 2014, and it was version 4. The versions aren't that different from each other. They use similar components, 
similar architecture. The hardware was a little bit different, but it doesn't matter. We know all the hardware can be corrupted. If you don't know your hardware can be corrupted, just show hands. Who has an iPhone? Who has an iPhone? Did you get sent information against your will without your input about COVID? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now you know, now you know they can put anything they want on your phone. The only question is who can and what they can put on there. And I will tell you, anything the system is capable of doing, someone is capable of executing remotely. You have no way to see what's happening. You cannot protect yourself against it. You don't use it for critical functions. It just doesn't make any sense at all. And if you don't know that, you're, it's because you're not reading or because they're trying to keep you from knowing. So I can't believe that the GOP and all, uh, truth in, truth in advertising, I'm not a Republican Party member. I've never been a registered member of any party in my life, although I'm getting closer, not because I want to do it, but because I don't see that we have a choice but to pick one of the horses and ride it in the direction we need to go. Amen. And I think, obviously, it's either the GOP or the party of insanity. <laughs> so, so I think I'm going to have to get involved when we're done with the election stuff in the, in the GOP party. And I'll do what I can there, too. But anybody who tells you the words gold standard is a fool or a liar. That's right. Those are the two choices. So I'd be happy to talk to anybody at any time about details. If anybody's got questions, you want to know what we're looking at. But we need an audit of Colorado's election system. And we can show, just like they showed the country how to do fraud at an industrial scale in Colorado, we can show them how to clean it up. Just so everybody can hear your answer, you were at that December 15 uh, election integrity, I guess, put on by the state of Colorado. And you had some great points. You went into more detail like you're just doing right now and talked about what should be done, the red flag operations, and Bull Torque was there. And um, I assume they voted on it and said, no way. I mean, they are so coy. It was just unbelievable to hear their answers. You're just going, are these adults talking? I mean, they're so hostile to conservative, honest truth. Truth is what they don't want. And so how do we, I guess... This is how we break into them. We can't break into them. We just pressure, pressure, pressure. But if we could at least get our group to put the pressure on the Republican Party, maybe we could. We can't do it individually. Individually, they'll pick us off. We've got to be in the Republican Party. We gotta, we gotta continue to confront them. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, we know what's going on. You brought the point. Yeah. Okay. There, there's a dilemma. Well, I'll wait till it's my turn. She's a boss. She tells me that I can talk. Okay, I jumped in. Sorry. I, I, just, no, no. I remember what. I didn't see you. I can only really hear it. Yeah. But I met Holtor, who came out to Albert County. Uh, great guy. And I thought to said, well, now I was told this was the most honest election in history. <laughs> it was just hilarious. Yeah, the people, the people who said that, that it was the most secure election in U.S. history, yeah. not one of them has any credential or ability to assess it. Yeah. They're mostly attorneys yeah. or PR people. Half of them, of the people who signed that statement, are in the rota either presently in the industry or part of that rotating door from industry. I don't trust the U.S. Election Assistance Commission. Their standards are rote procedural standards. I've read their test plans and their test report. They're static at best. They're incomplete at best. Real red teams that have to defend critical systems will tear those systems apart. Yeah. We got, when I was in D.C., a lot of you guys probably were too, it just dawned on me, everybody in this town is in the tank for the Democrats. Every single... Every building that has people in it, they're in the tank for this one. Every yeah. Well, when what you're saying is is incorrect and disprovable, they don't have to silence you. Yeah. 